All right, Pharrell, why do we study July? Why do we celebrate July 4th? Because it's, it's Independence Day. Perfect, right? Is all, is it, we all agree with that? Yes. We study July 4th. What else? Because I think that's the day when they um, sign the Declaration of Independence. Okay, we're going to get to that. Just say, exactly. So, back in 1776, had fighting already occurred in the, in the Revolutionary War? Yeah, right? We know what, what battles have been fought. Do you remember? We talked about them yesterday. Which one? Not the date. What was the name of the battle? What was it? Lexington and Concord had already happened. All right. And what government was formed before then? It was formed at the what? Not the militia, but the, remember the government that will exist throughout all of the Revolutionary War? Exactly. The, what's the first or second? The Second Continental Congress, exactly. So, that will be the government that will last throughout the entire rest of the Revolutionary War. Good. You guys are awesome. So, Declaration of Independence on 1776. Now, these guys have all got together to plan, to get a plan for how to deal with these incidences that are going on here in the American continent. Now, just because it was the day of July 4th, it doesn't actually mean that that was the day when they all signed it. It technically was not an event. It was actually a day that they posted on the declaration itself, kind of a day of announcement. They actually, most people actually signed it two days earlier on July 2nd. But even then, there were still people that were like, I don't know if I'm ready to denounce against the British government, and then, you know, the king and the, and the British people. They were like, uh, because what would they technically be called? If you go against your own country, you are committing what? Traitors. They would be traitors. They were worried about that, right? Well, now, let's go through. Let's go through some of your, some of your words. All right? So what are some terms that you came up with, Carter? So how did they use it in this? In what context did they use magnanimity? In what context? What was the sentence? We have a field today. Pay attention. It's a magnanimity. And we have a convert done by Christ Christ to do something. So they said this magnanimity, which means what? Uh, not generous. Not generous, right? So in the Declaration of Independence, they were saying to the king, you have not been generous to us. All right, good. That's another one. All right. What's another word? Let's come over here. Oh, wait. Let's go here. Uh, tyranny. Tyranny. Oh, I like that one. Okay. Uh, the definition of tyranny. Tyranny. T T Y R A. If you guys need words, you probably want to start writing these down. Uh, it means the abuse of authority and power. Okay. So what are they saying to King George? You're a tyrant. You're abusing our power. We are se we are a separate place. We are part of the British flag. We're part of the British country, but you're you're being a tyrant. You're not being fair with us. You're taking too much control. All right. What's another word? Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. Okay, that's a good one. And that's the right or authority to abuse or justice. Okay, you don't have the right or the authority. Good. So how did they use it in the thing? In the um, we have warned them from time to time of the French governor of Jurisdiction to extend an unwarrantable jurisdiction. Okay, so what are they saying then? That he was abusing his authority with French law. You were abusing your jurisdiction, right? You're abusing your authority. And in some ways they're saying you don't have authority here. You can't just extend your arm all across the Atlantic and con 
insult every little thing that we do. All right, good. Okay, let's get in. What about the grievances? Where is Nicole? Advocated, thank you. I'm glad you brought that up. All right, spell it for me. Okay, advocated. Advocated. Okay, what does advocated mean? Okay, to renounce. To renounce, right? Or denounce. The group has their name on your paper. Okay? Yes, and so what you're doing is you're picking out any word. It can be an adjective, it can be a noun, it can be anything, and then you're supposed to define it. Say, hey guys, hurry, get finished with your term, because in a few minutes, I'm going to combine the groups and you guys are going to meet together, okay? Major men that lived throughout the colonies got together and they said, now it's time to go again. We need to stand up to the king because we have grievances. Okay? It's too late to apologize. It's like the movie we just watched. It really is. So these are some of the major men who are on the Declaration Committee. Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, Robert Livingston, Roger Sherman. All right? So sometimes we think that it's just Thomas Jefferson who wrote the Declaration of Independence, but clearly was it? No, it was a collaboration of multiple people, right? Thomas Jefferson contributed quite a bit to it, all right? So let me ask you guys, as you're writing this down, what are some grievances that you have? We'll come back to that. A grievance. Okay, what is a grievance? Good, that's a great question, Amy. What is a grievance? Okay, if you have a grievance of something, what does that say? Like you're worried or sad about something? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's complaining. You have a complaint. What's a complaint? Yeah. Haley, what did you just say? What's a complaint? A complaint is yeah. like, a, like what I just said. Exactly. When you're mad or upset about something, you complain, right? Complain. You complain. So, you have a grievance. I'm going to tell you all the reasons in my complaints as to why I am sad or upset, just like Haley just said. So, what are some grievances that you guys have right now? Being at this school or in life right now. Yeah. The uniform. the uniform. That is always number one that I hear about. The uniform. We have uniform. Yes. We do have uniform. Good. That's a good complaint. What else? What other grievances that you guys have? Caden? Um, I forgot. <laughs> okay. That's all right. When you remember, we'll come back to it. Um, no lockers. Lockers. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Lockers. lockers. Yeah. Oh. Who's been kind of frustrated about not having a locker? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, most of you. Yeah, it is kind of hard because why is it a problem if you don't have lockers? What's the problem? Because you have to carry your backpack around. You have to carry your backpack around. Exactly. Oh, man. And you have what? Um, and I was going to say, on one of my grievances is 